All right, guys. So I'm super stoked. I just got home from work. I came inside, and boom, my new bait casting reel came in. So I thought I would just uh, do a little unboxing video to show you guys my new reel that I imported from Japan. It's called the it's a TS1200, the TS Renoia. It's a six three to one gear ratio. I believe it's 11 ball bearings and everything is in Japanese which is pretty legit so we'll get right into the opening because I was just super excited so I figured you guys would be just as excited as I am so yeah let's get into this alright guys so here it is the TS Renoia TS1200 bait casting reel open her up Looks super legit, look at that, it's just in Japanese writing. Gives you all the parts that comes with it. And then, I'd tell you what it says, but I don't know Japanese. Let's get to the fun part. Check her out. This thing is gnarly. So smooth. 13 plus 1 ball bearings. This is a 14 ball bearing reel. And the one thing I did hear about this reel is that obviously it's from Japan and they have huge fish in Japan. So these things have amazing drag systems. And just look at how smooth this reel is. It is super nice. I am just super excited about this. It's got the drag system right here. Nice drag. Perfectly smooth drag system. It's got your tension, your tension knob right here. Overall it looks like a really good reel. It's got the button right here so you can uh, take this off. Take this off right here. Then you got the inside of your spool. Just like that. And there it is. Alright, so I'm most likely gonna spool this bad boy up and I can do a little a couple videos on how this bad boy casts. Cause I've gotta gotta test it out. Really cool reel so far. Super, super, super excited about it. Um, I'll give you another bit better shot of it here. It's just an all around slick reel. It's got the little logo right there. I like the big handles on it. I have huge hands so this is just a perfect reel for me and I am just so psyched, so psyched about it. But let me get some uh, line on it. I'm going to spool it up real quick. I'm going to throw it on my falcon rod and I'll do a couple casting shots on it so you guys can see how it works. And then I can show you in the link below uh, where you can buy one. Alright guys, yourself. so I got my reel I got it paired up on my falcon rod. It's a medium heavy rod. And I'm just gonna uh, start spooling this up. I'm running uh, a 14 pound cage and line backing because I'm gonna be running uh, some stealth braid, 30 pound on it. I'll just do a double uni knot. So the way I like to do it on the bait casters is I'll run it through, I'll run the line through one or two of the holes on the spool here. like that and then what I like to do is um, 
I'll do one double hand knot. And then I'll do that around the whole spool. And I'll just wrap it around the whole spool, that double hand knot. I'll just put it on the whole spool, just like that. And it just locks right in. Okay, now that I've got my knot on my spool, I'm just going to go ahead and place this back in here. Just slides right in. Then I put my cap back on. Just like that. And then you want to keep it you want to keep your line tight when you reel in a couple times. And then what I like to do is I'll get a full backing, a full run of backing on my spool I'll just run that right on there until I got a nice amount of backing on there and I know my braid's not going to slip Okay, so I would call that enough. So then what I'm going to do is, is clip my tag end right here. And then perform what's called a double uni knot where I'm just going to where I'm just going to combine I'm just going to take my 14 pound and combine it with this. And I'll show you how okay, that's done. Guys, now this knot is pretty difficult at first, but here I have my braided line. I don't know how well you can see that. And here I have my regular Cajun line. And you're just going to run it over. And you're just going to run them over each other just like this. Okay. And then with your Cajun line, you're going to you're going to do one loop. One loop just like that. And run it through the middle. Run it through the middle five or six times just like if you were going to do a regular uh fisherman's knot. Just run it through the middle five times. One, two, three, four, five. I like to do six. So I'm going to do it six times. And then I'm going to pull down on it. Not too tight yet. So just pull down on it enough to like it until where it kind of starts to clump up and knot up and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side with your braid you're going to do it on the other side of the knot that you just made so you're going to do the same thing with the braid make one full loop around both of the lines and run it through the middle run it through the middle five to six times two three four, five, and six. Okay. Then you pull that one down. Pull that one down until it starts to knot up. And I like to wet it since it's braid. I'll wet both of the knots. So here you have one knot. You have one knot right here and one knot right here. So now what you're going to do is pull on both of the ends here and you're gonna see that they slowly start coming to meet each other until they join right there then you really want to tighten that down because that's gonna be the knot that's holding it okay now you've got your knot right here and you just have to clean up your two tag ends
and that is what your finished knot will look like. Okay, so now that we got that double uni knot, we can just go ahead and start reeling it up, reeling our line in, making sure that it's nice and tight when it's going on when it's getting spooled up. So you can start you can start seeing that braid just fall right in. It's falling nice and smoothly. And we're just going to reel it in all the way until we feel like we have enough on there. I usually like to fill my spools up, especially with braided line, because I know that braided line uh, I only like to use for a couple of different occasions. Like, I'll use it for frog fishing. Like, this will probably be another frogging rod that I will use with not so much heavy cover because I have one that has 65 pound test so that's the one I use in really heavy matted areas where I really have to be able to tow the fish out this will be for lighter purposes okay now that our reel is nice and spooled up it's on our rod we're gonna get it set up and do a couple casting shots with it and we'll see how it overall casts and its ability. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. Super awesome reel. I love how it casts. Really nice smooth drag system. It reels super nice. 13 bearings. Uh, forward and then one anti-reverse bearing. Um, I, I can't believe how good it is for the money I paid for it. So I'm going to put the link in the description. If you guys really like how it looks, you like the, the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want me to do any more unboxing videos, just let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing.